it's a short and sweet one that I've got for you this week because I was closed for a few days, but I've still got some really cool goodies to show you, including some Doctor Who figures. And I'm going to show you half of a Star Wars collection that I took in. Now, play that funky music, white boy. And here I've got two little lots, one from someone who reached out to me on Instagram and another from channel supporter, Dominic Nisbet. Working our way forwards from the back, we've got a Demon Slayer figure there from McFarlane Toys. It's Tanjiro, the main character from the series. We've got a Link statue from First for Figures. This is from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's a very nice one is this, and I already have one, so this one will be in the shelves. There's a handful of Funko Pops. We've got Spyro the Dragon with Sparks, and we've got Cal Kestis with B BD1 rather. And that's from Jedi Survivor or Jedi Fallen Order. One of the two. Captain Marvel there, and a Venomized Doctor Strange, that one glows in the dark. From Mortal Kombat, we've got well, Mortal Kombat 11, we've got Noob Cybot, and that's from McFarlane Toys. We've got a couple of Godzilla figures here, really interesting. Now, these Dominic picked up in a charity shop. There's the NECA one there, I think that's the one from the 2014 movie. I think the, the scales, the fins were bigger on the dorsal plates, rather, were bigger on the King of Monsters ones. Uh, that one is a Bandai vinyl figure, Shin Godzilla. Sadly, he's lost a couple of his fingers. Still a really cool piece to have. We've got a Loot Crate exclusive Shadow the Hedgehog there. He's pretty cool, pretty cool indeed. Now, sticking with the video game theme, we've got a Mortal Kombat um, Sub-Zero getting Penetrated, shall we say, by Scorpion. Uh, figurine, diorama, statuey type thing. And a nice big Spyro the Dragon statue again type thing. It's a, it's a, it's a soft vinyl, is this? It's really... I, I'm, I'm not sure what that is. I've not seen this before. It's new on me and it comes with like a... <laughs> what looks like a thimble type thing inside. Very strange. Very strange indeed. And it turns out this Spyro the Dragon's actually an incense burner. You put one of those little incense cones down in that pot and as it's burning the smoke comes out through his nostrils. It's really cool, really cool. And I'm assuming these two lovely ladies are from some fantasy kind of game of the final variety. I've not seen them before. Not really my bag, but I'm sure someone will love them. Uh, McFarlane Toys The Robin King from the Death Metal Dark Knights type universe thing. Uh, old Toy Biz 10 inch Lord of the Rings Gimli with his axe there. Uh, some more DC figures here. We've got a Poison Ivy. She's from Arkham Asylum. I think it's a DC Direct or DC Collectibles type thing. Um, McFarlane Toys Multiverse Polka Dot Man. Sadly, he's missing his goggles. This one, I think, is a Mattel one. It's um, it's Shazam from the from the film. There's Hella there from Thor Ragnarok. Now, sadly, she's missing part of her headdress, as you can just about make out there. If we get her into focus, 
Yeah, there's a, there's a little piece missing there at the back, which does come with the alternate head, so you can display her without the hat and without the cape. Marvel Songbird there as well. We've got a Justice League Unlimited Joker, animated series one. Modo from Biker Mice of Mars. And something a bit unusual, something I'd not normally do, but they were brought in by Dominic, so thank you very much. We've got D'Artagnan and the Three Musketeers. Naturally, they will be going as a set, because they're, yeah, they're no good having just for one of them. And Dominic brought me one other thing, which he'd bought from me in the past, which is this Farscape Erin Sun figure. Andy, is that one up your street? <laughs> and last but not least, from that Timu lot that I got, I've decided to bring in these Wolverine claws, because, well, frankly, no good to me. They're pretty cool, though. <laughs> And how could I miss out this Wednesday Funko Pop? Oh well, I did, but now I've remembered. And someone brought me some Doctor Who figures. We've got this Day of the Doctor collector set, which has the 10th Doctor, 11th Doctor, and a Zygon. They're the smaller figures, the 3.75 inch ones. But onto the normal ones, we've got a Rose Tyler with Ice Extinguisher. We've got a 10th Doctor with Ghost Transmission Triangulation Gear. Yeah, it's just some street cones and wires, that's it. We've got a 10th Doctor with the Dirty Space Suit and two obelisks. We've got a Pyrovile Priestess. We've got a Martha Jones with the Toclophane Sphere, the open one. And a Supreme Dalek from series four but the coolest thing i think out of this little lot is this one it's a personalize your own sonic screwdriver set i quite like that it's different it's unusual and sonic screwdrivers always very 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 popular and i hardly ever find them and we've had a couple of deliveries We've got some comic books and starting with the DC as usual we've got Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong the penultimate episode just one more to go Catwoman variant of Catwoman Marvel we've got Web of Spider-Man issue one nice cover by Greg Capullo there Spider-Boy looks like he's getting crushed by a rhino or an elephant <laughs> Blade Star Wars we've got Visions the Ruining and the Droid probably a one shot I think that's a one shot Django Fett The Trail of Lost Hope okay Thrawn Alliances issue 3 really liking that cover but they had to balance it out didn't they and gave a really unassociated crap cover with it Really bugs me that we don't get to see these before we order them. What's that got to do with Thrawn? Ugh. Moving on. <laughs> Image Comics, we've got the Walking Dead Deluxe. We've got Spawn. We've got Spawn Scorched. Dynamite, we've got Army of Darkness Forever. Elvira meets HP Lovecraft. Doom from Boom. We've got House Carino, issue one. And this is an older one, is this? Uh, Godzilla, Monsters and Protectors, All Hail the King, Issue 5. Because I realised that I already had Issue 1. Issue 2. Issue 3. And Issue 4. For sale in the shop. And no one could complete it without Issue 5. So, yeah, we've got two complete sets now. And we've got some manga. If you haven't checked this out on Netflix, The Uncanny Counter, it's a pretty good series. At least series one is. Still to finish series two. We've got Number Call. Dragon Ball Super Volume 20. And Chainsaw Man Volume 14. We've got the new Pokemon Booster Pack in. At Temporal Forces, that one is. And there 
it is. We've also got a couple of the Elite Trainer Boxes of it as well. And not much in the form of new toys this week. We've just got the Rise of the Beast Studio Series Wheeljack because who would have thought that a Transformer that turns into a VW camper van would be a good seller? <gasps> oh, no! yeah. And we've also got the Black Series Captain Rex helmet. I wonder if they'll ever do one without the weld lines. I prefer it without, personally. And from Games Workshop, we've got the new Warhammer 40k Tau Empire Crew Hunting Pack. The army set. It's a big box, is that? It needs to be a big box because it's got loads of stuff in it. Let's have a look. Oh, they're pretty cool. I'm assuming that these are what the towel look like when they don't have their armour on them. Look a little bit like baby orcs, a cross between orcs and lizard men. Now one of these bad boys is already sold. But still one available if anyone wants one. And they do also come with the codex and the datasheet cards. And someone brought me four giant tubs of sealed, carded Star Wars figures. Mostly Clone Wars, but there's also some 30th Anniversary Collection, some Saga Collection. There's some Episode 1, some Episode 2. There's all sorts amongst it all. So let's take a look at some, not all, of that. And there they are, the four big tubs. I think I'll have a look through the top two boxes. So I'm going to start with everybody's favourites, the episode one figures. There's a Darth Maul and a Padme. Darth Maul, Tatooine and R2-D2. Mace Windu and Chancellor Valorum. Anakin, Jedi, Padawan and Obi-Wan Kenobi. There's also a Rune Harko there. Qui-Gon Jinn Naboo and Senator Palpatine. Jar Jar Binks, who's got a bit of a crush bubble and crease card, sadly. And an Obi-Wan Kenobi. We've got a pair of Anakins there. So there's all three of the Anakins from Episode 1, apparently. A couple of Battle Droids, the Dirty One and the... Slash Scar ones, a Watto and a Darth Sidious. And now for some Power of the Jedi goodness. And I have to say, I find the Power of the Jedi to be really an underappreciated, uh, underappreciated line. Anyway, there's Darth Maul there, final jewel. He can cut in half. Mass Ameda, Leia Organa, General from Return of the Jedi. And we've got Zutton, Snaggletooth. There's a Gungan Warrior, Eeth Koff, Jedi Master, and Rebel Fleet Trooper. Sadly, the blister has come away from the card on that one. And there's a couple of Episode 2 carded figures here. Obviously, Dash Per actually comes from A New Hope. And Mace Windu, Geonosian Rescue. And now time for some classic Power of the Force 90s goodness. Yeah, some people love these, other people hate them. I don't mind them. It's what got me back into collect. Well, it's what got me into collecting Star Wars, I suppose. It's the first ones that I collected. Uh, sadly, C3PO here has got a crease to the card, but we've got R2D2 as well. We've got R5D4. We've got Boba Fett. Now, for those that care, it's the one with full circles on the hands, but sadly, he's got a pretty battered card back. We've got Tuscan Raider and Greedo. We've got Yoda and Luke Skywalker in Dagobah fatigues, which was the first time that figure had ever been released, wasn't it? We've got Obi-Wan Kenobi and TIE Fighter Pilot, Lando Calrissian and Han Solo in Carbonite Freezing Chamber. Different to Carbonite Block. That's a variant some people might not be aware of. 
Over here we've got Han Solo in Hoth and Mobile Naden, also known as Hammerhead. We've got Stormtrooper and Luke Skywalker, uh, X-Wing gear. I just noticed that's a long saber as well. That's a variant that was uh, quite sought after at one point. We've got the Jowers, always nice to see on the orange stroke red card pack. Chewbacca as well. We've got Tatooine Stormtrooper. The later change that to Sand Trooper. Uh, Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. This is the variant with the black shirt and grey vest by the look of it. Or is it all black? No, it's, it's definitely grey, is that? Uh, Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper disguise. Princess Leia Organa. Oh, actually, there were, there were variants with her as well, wasn't there? One of them was not quite so flatteringly called Monkey Face. And there was some with only two bands on her uh, belt there. And some with three, obviously this one's got three. There's Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. Again, both of them with long sabers, which is nice to see. And a Death Star Gunner and Han Solo. There's a couple, well three, of the deluxe ones. We've got Crowd Control Stormtrooper. Han Solo with his Smuggler Flight Pack and Luke Skywalker with his Desert Sports Gif. These were essentially mini rigs with a figure. Uh, also, we've got a Stormtrooper on a Tri-Logo card. I'm not sure if uh, many American viewers realise there is a difference in the colour of the card back. If you look at those two there, one's got a bit of a pinkish hue. The Try logo one has a pinkish hue to it, whereas the American one has the red one. And there were a few green card Power of the Force as well. There's these freeze frames, Death Star Trooper and Lando Calrissian in General's gear. Obi-Wan Kenobi, sadly with a crushed bubble, and an Endor Rebel Soldier. No weak ways, I'm afraid. And just three of the Comtech ones. We've got Admiral Motti. Han Solo and Wuha, if that's how you pronounce the name. As for this tub, I think we'll have a look through this as I empty it, because there's not as much in it, because they're mostly boxy items, and it's a little bit mixed, so I can't really sort them out into collected piles. So Clone Wars, we've got the Freeco Speeder with Obi-Wan Kenobi. The gentleman actually bought this from me not too long ago. We've got the Bark Speeder with a Clone Trooper. Episode 1, we've got the Armoured Scout Tank with Battle Droid. Always a favourite there. We've got the Speeder Bike with Scout Trooper. Or oh, Biker Scout, it says. Episode 1, and we've got an OP with Qui-Gon Jinn. I remember getting these before the film came out. Power of the Force again, and we've got the Detention Block Rescue Playset. Some Black Series by the look of it. We've got Wrecker from the Bad Batch. Ooh, nice. Clone Commander Wolf. Always a popular one. Commander Bly, which strangely enough I've just sold out of. And Tech from the Bad Batch. And there's also the Arc Trooper from the Jendi Tarkovsky or Kat Tarkowski, however you pronounce his name. Um, yeah, <laughs> Clone Wars cartoon series, that's what I was going for. Um, Jed Jedi Con 2004, the Holocron Adventure with a Clone Trooper and a Super Battle Droid. I'm not going to stick to that £10 because I don't know what this goes for now, but that's not my price tag. <laughs> so like some DVDs or something. Attack of the Clones. Ugh, Rise of Skywalker. Last Jedi. Phantom Menace. Force Awakens. Pretty cool pencil tin featuring Vader, the Millennium Falcon and Boba Fett. 
and then what looks to be some bump. Millennium Falcon Owners Workshop Manual and a pile of Star Wars magazine. I used to get these religiously every month, you know. Yep, yeah, I had all them. Read them cover to cover. Oh, damage in one. They don't have much value there. <laughs> So that's it for those two tubs, but I will show you the other two tubs, which are right there, next week. As you can see, there's plenty of Revenge of the Sith, Clone Wars, 30th Anniversary Collection, Vintage Collection, Saga Collection, there's all sorts in those two tubs, uh, a, a nice little mix. And they did actually come in with these, which are already out on the shelf. I haven't priced them up yet, I will get around to it. We've got the Clone Wars Hidden Enemy set, the Droid Attack on the Coronet, which is quite hard to find now, the Boma Monastery Assault, there's the Koto Bukia Artifacts uh, Yoda and Mace Windu set there, and then a load of Clone Wars vehicles. That one's a particularly rare one. That one's not sealed but hasn't been used, but the rest of these are sealed. So yeah, there's the Corporate Alliance Tank Droid, the Armoured Assault Tank, Trade Federation, Republic Fighter Tank, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, the Octoop Tara Droid, if that's how you pronounce that one, <laughs> uh, Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter is laid down there. There's that nice tin collection there. Let's uh, see if we can zoom in a little bit. They're quite high up of these. Commemorative tin collection from A New Hope. And then up on the top shelf, which seems miles away, we've got the Collector Series Darth Vader 12 inch figure, Imperial Officer, Arc 170 Fighter, that's seat of all, these are all sealed, and a red clone trooper and a yellow clone commander. And then Link's watching on there to make sure everyone's kept safe. And in with all that Star Wars stuff, there were some Simpsons pieces and a random turtle. So let's have a look at those. And there's your random turtle. It's Raphael with storage shell. Sealed on card. It's not a vintage one though. It's just one of those new retro um, reissues. Simpsons. We've got a Homer Simpson talking figure. Does he work? Does he work? Let's have a look. Can I get my big fat thumb in the hole? I can't get my thumb in the hole. Oh, he's still got the tag there. Never mind. Never mind. He probably does top, but I'm not pulling the tag. On the classic Playmates figures, we've got Marge and Maggie. Looks like she's been doing some baking. We've got Sunday Best Bart. Homer Simpson. And Patty Bouvier. Uh, but probably the best of the bunch is this Dr. Nick. It's one of the Intellitronic voice activation ones. Just say try me, but I doubt it. Doubt it works after all these years. Let's have a look. Where do I press? Yeah, no, it doesn't work after all these years. I didn't think it would do. But yep, there he is, still sealed in the box as well. So that's it for this week's episode. As I said at the top of the show, I've been close for a few days, so not a huge amount came in on the day or two that I was open this week. Now, I'll be sure to show you the rest of the Star Wars stuff next week, as well as anything else of note that comes in before then. Now, my channel members may have noticed that their memberships have been cancelled. This is something that YouTube have implemented because they need something from me and it's probably going to take a few months to resolve so please bear with me with that and I'm going to get it sorted as quickly as possible but if you want to continue supporting the channel in the meantime as well as getting videos early the only way to do that is over on Patreon apologies for this and please bear with me okay all that's left to say now is thank you all so much for watching remember to smash that like button on your way out 
and ring that ding a to be notified of future content. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.